Hi, this is Pam from the Birch Cottage blog. In this video tutorial, I would like to show you how to sew an Easter basket. Let's take a look at the supplies you will need. You will need one yard of cotton fabric for the exterior, one yard of cotton fabric for the liner, two yards of fusible fleece, and some matching thread. Here I have my thread and bobbin, my rotary cutter, and my acrylic ruler. I also have some wonder clips. You can use pens if you don't have those. And the fabric that I selected for the liner of my basket, some fusible fleece, and the fabric for the outside of my basket. Now you will also need your sewing machine, and like I said, a self-healing mat, rotary cutter, acrylic ruler, scissors, some wonder clips or pens, and an iron and an ironing board. The first thing that we're going to do is to cut our fabric. Here I have the measurements for the exterior, the liner, the fusible fleece, the strap, and also the fusible fleece for the strap. I'll also provide those below in the description so you can refer to that, and you will find the full tutorial on the Birch Cottage blog. I also provide instructions for creating the Easter basket like the one on the right you see here where there's a contrast band of fabric at the top and instructions if you want to do a different band along the bottom. So like I said, the first thing I'm going to do is to cut my fabric. So I'm cutting the fabric for the exterior of my basket. And once I have the pieces for the exterior of my basket, then I will cut the pieces for my basket liner. And this is the fabric that I've chosen for the liner of my basket. And then I'm going to take my fusible fleece and I will make my cuts out of that material as well. So I'm going to need to cut fusible fleece for the exterior fabric, for the liner fabric, and for the handle. And so here I'm cutting out the fabric for the handle of the Easter basket and I'm using the same fabric that I use for the exterior of the basket. So once I have the fabric cut out for that, I'll also cut out a piece of fusible fleece to attach to the back of the fabric for the handle. So next what I will do is I will apply the fusible fleece to the exterior of the fabric the liner pieces that I've cut out, and also to the handle. Just follow the instructions that the fusible fleece manufacturer provides with the fleece to apply uh, the fleece to the fabric. Basically, I lay down the fusible fleece on my ironing board, lay the fabric down on top of it, and then apply pressure with my steam iron and you just want to kind of lift and move and press the iron instead of, I know it looks like I'm gliding it, but I'm really kind of raising it a little bit as I move it and uh, applying using steam to secure the fusible fleece to the back of the fabric. Once I have fused the fleece or whatever interfacing you're using to the back of the fabric, it's time to cut out our corners. And what we're going to do is to measure out three inches along the bottom of the two exterior pieces and the two liner pieces of fabric and mark a square, a three inch square along the bottom corners and then cut those out. So here I have my exterior fabric and I'll take my ruler and line it up with the edges of the fabric and use my fabric marking pen to mark a three inch square the bottom corner of the fabric. I'll also do this on the other bottom corner and then I will repeat this for the exterior piece of fabric for the Easter baskets. And once I have the three inches marked, I'll take my scissors and I will cut out to those three inch corners. So this is the uh, exterior piece of fabric for my Easter basket and I'm marking off the three inch corner to the bottom pieces. So I'll lay my fabrics down on pieces down on top of one another and use my scissors to cut out those three inch squares that I just drew on the bottom corners of the fabric.
and once I cut out the three inch corners from the exterior fabric I'll do the same with the liner fabric if you want to mark each of the pieces separately you can do that I just found it quicker to do one of each and then line up the pieces and cut them out this way so then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this over to our sewing machine and we're going to make our first stitches using a one half inch seam allowance I switched over to my AccuFeed foot for my sewing machine, which does a great job when you're quilting or you're dealing with multiple layers of fabric. And this is just where I am switching out my presser foot and applying the AccuFeed foot. It does a great job, like I said, of pulling the fabric through evenly when you have multiple layers. So your feed dogs feed through your fabric along the bottom and with the AccuFeed foot, it has same grooves in the bottom of that foot as well and pieces, parts of it, that little arms that move and they help pull the fabric from the top as well. So it evenly feeds the fabric through the sewing machine. So I'm lining up the two long side edges of my outer or exterior pieces of the fabric for my basket. I'm using my Wonder Clips, which I love to use by the way and using those to hold my pieces together. So again, I'm using a half inch seam allowance and I'm stitching down the side of the Easter baskets. And be sure to reinforce your stitches at the beginning and the end of each, each seam by doing a couple of back stitches. And now I will stitch along the other long edge, side edge of the fabric Easter basket. Again, I'm using a half inch seam allowance and reinforcing by back stitching my stitches at the beginning and the end of each of those. Now I'm going to stitch the bottom pieces together. So again, reinforce my stitches at the beginning, use a half inch seam allowance and stitch along the bottom of the basket fabric. I'm going to trim away any loose threads and I'm going to repeat that for the liner pieces of the fabric for the basket. So line up the edges of the side, reinforce my stitches with a couple of back stitches and then a half inch seam allowance down the side. When I reach the end I'll back stitch again and now I will stitch the other side seam for the liner of the Easter basket. So just a half inch seam allowance and then I will take and stitch along the bottom. Again each time be sure to back stitch to reinforce those stitches. Right, you can now take and trim those seams down to a quarter of an inch and uh, you can also press them open. Both of those things will help the basket to lay a little nicer, I think. So here I'm just going to take those half inch seams and trim them down to a quarter inch. And I'll do the bottom and the side seams for both the exterior fabric and the liner fabric. Just use my fabric scissors to trim those down to about half of what they were. All right, I trim along the bottom of the exterior fabric. And then, like I said, I like to take and press them flat and it just helps the Easter basket to lay a lot nicer once you put all the pieces together. So now I'm going to take those corners that we cut out and I'm going to line up the bottom seam with the side seam, kind of clip that into place and then stitch a half inch seam allowance to stitch that closed. And I will repeat that with the other three corners. 
Okay, so next we're going to prepare the strap, and I apologize, but I thought I had recorded this, but I didn't have the recording going. So you'll take the strap that you've already applied your fusible fleece to, and you will fold each of the long edges towards the middle and press them flat. And then you'll take that long piece and fold it over in half, and you'll stitch about an eighth of an inch from the edge all the way down one long edge, and then an eighth of an inch of a stitch all the way down the other long edge. Then once you've done that, you will take your basket and you'll find the center front of the basket and mark it. Then you'll find the center back of the basket and mark it as well. You will line up the handle with those marks right sides together and then stitch a quarter of an inch to secure that handle to your exterior fabric. So again, you'll find the center of the basket and you will mark it in the front. You'll also find the center back and mark it in the back of the exterior fabric. And then you will line up the ends, raw edges, with those center marks so it's centered over that mark and then stitch a quarter of an inch across the end. And then you will repeat that for the other end of the handle. And that's where we are here. And now I have inserted my bag, the exterior into the lining piece so the right sides are together, lined up my side seams and I've clipped it in place. Now I'm gonna start stitching about an inch of away from one of the uh, straps reinforce my stitches and stitch all the way around the perimeter leaving a three inch opening so that I can turn my bag in, or Easter basket inside out. So again I have placed the fabric uh, right sides together and the handles are down inside the Easter basket um, sandwiched in between the two layers of fabric. I have lined up my side seams and clipped everything in place around the raw edges of the top of the basket. Now I'm using a half inch seam allowance to stitch around the basket, leaving a three inch opening so that I can turn the basket inside out. And I started my stitching about an inch away from one of the straps, back stitch to reinforce my stitching, stitch around the perimeter of the basket and stopped about three inches away from that beginning stitch so I would have plenty of room uh, for turning my basket. Okay, I'm gonna trim any threads and um, I did not trim this seam any shorter at the top but now I'm ready through that opening to turn my basket inside out. Make sure you leave yourself plenty of room because you do have a lot of bulk here with the layers of fusible fleece and two layers of fabric and the handles or the straps that you're trying to pull through that opening. But just work it out. And then once you have the bag turned right side out, you will put the lining down inside the Easter basket so you have uh, the two wrong sides together. Your strap should be on the outside of the basket and kind of take your fingers and finger press the seam along the top so it's there lined up and then you'll probably want to take your iron and iron that nice and flat and then you're going to top stitch along the edge of the basket all the way around about an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch um, from the edge that will close the opening in the basket and give you a nice finished seam around the edge. And that is your Easter basket. So here I'm just lining up that opening and I'll just clip or pin that in place. I'll take it over to my ironing board and give it a nice pressing first and then come back to my sewing machine and do about an eighth of an inch of a um, seam around or stitching around the edge of the top of the Easter basket. Now be sure to visit the Birch Cottage blog where you will find a tutorial for not only how to do this Easter basket, 
but all the cutting dimensions that you'll need if you want to do a contrast up at the top like you see in the one here that says pearl or cora or if you want to do a contrast along the bottom like you see in the basket here in the middle i used a nice canvas material for that basket and it really turned out nice uh, if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below i would love it if you would like this video if you found it helpful be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and please come visit me at the Birch Cottage blog and sign up for my newsletter where you'll be notified when new tutorials and ideas are available. Thank you.